my bone cracked. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I haven't filmed in so long. And also, this like might be the first video on my YouTube channel. So I guess we could talk about that. So today I'm just gonna be doing my makeup while talking about a bunch of random crap. Also, sorry if I look at the viewfinder a lot. It's a habit. I know everyone says that. But like dead ass, it's a habit. So yeah, I have dance practice in a bit. So whatever happens, happens, and I have to like follow through with it. I look gross right now, and like I can't do my makeup with my bangs, but I don't want to put them into this roller because I'd look even worse. <laughs> I don't want to put them into this roller. <laughs> like what is that? Uh, what if we just don't do that? What if I just kind of like. Is that even worse? I honestly cannot tell if that's worse. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like freaking out. Any hair? Okay, let's get started. First off, this might be my first video, so hello. Um, I've been filming YouTube videos since I was about nine or 10 and I'm 16 now. So it's been a while, I haven't been allowed to post them. But a couple months ago, my parents said that I could post them and I just never got around to it. But we're here now, we're here now. My brother said that he'd edit my videos. So that's gonna be kinda awkward because I act really like gross on these. <laughs> it is what it is. I really cannot do my makeup with my bangs down. Like this is getting in my eye. I am trying to think of like a few <laughs> basic things to say about me. I'm, my name is Anise. Hello, hi, I'm Anis Gomez. I'm 16. I'm homeschooled. I'm I'm a junior, but we're not gonna talk about it. I love K-pop. I don't know. Oh, you guys can't see my K-pop wall, but I love K-pop. I love orcas. You can see an orca back there. My room's a mess. Get used to that. I'm in a K-pop dance cover group called Echo Effect based here in San Antonio, Texas. I live in Texas. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's it for now. Um, I'm really just gonna be talking about like random stuff and like it's my first video so I probably shouldn't be talking about like, I shouldn't be talking about stuff as if you guys already know me, but like, hi, hello, I'm gonna talk about stuff as if you guys already know me. Let's get started. I don't know what I'm doing on my face today. I feel like I've done pink looks. I wanna do something different. I might do like a blue look and then do a blue lip. Oh, would that be kind of crazy? Who knows? Let's just do it. <laughs> this week, I don't really have a lot going on. Like, I honestly don't have anything going on. But when do I ever have anything going on? I'm always at home. I always have nothing going on because I am homeschooled. My life is... It's, it's pretty um, average, I'd say. I do dance and that's pretty much it for the extra curricular activities i don't really do much else my best friend is away at college five hours away from me but i'm going to visit her in october so maybe i'll vlog that who knows my other best friend slash girlfriend is here in my city so that's good i see her like twice a week sometimes um we're in dance together so i see her a lot and then my other friends are also all in dance so i see them like once a week unless we have a show slash performance which this week we do, we have a show on Saturday at a library and I'm not ready for it <laughs> because it's quick story time. Last Saturday, we all got ready. We all pulled up to the library. We're like, hey, hello, we're ready to perform. Where's our audience? Turns out there was no audience because sweetie, there was no show. <laughs> we got the dates mixed up. And so it's actually this weekend. <laughs> It's actually this weekend. It wasn't a fun time, but it is what it is <laughs> and I had an okay day that day but Yeah, I have dance practice tonight. So that should be interesting We're trying to prepare for a really big show that we have in February. So we're really just working hard on that So yeah, I'm going to re-dye my hair soon. I want to make like a Not a hair journey video, but like a Stages of my hair because my hair is not been through a lot. It's been through it's seen some days. It's seen some days. We'll just say that. But currently, it's a weird color, kind of gray, kind of blue down here. It's more blue, um, kind of green towards the top, but you can't see that. Yeah, it's really a mess. It's not great. But I'm going to dye it red, hopefully tomorrow. We'll film a video on that. I've always gotten it done by other people. Uh, the first time I got it done at a salon and then I started having my friend do it and she did a great job. But I feel like I really just wanna try doing it myself, especially because those other times I had to bleach it and then dye it. So like, 
I had to have someone else do it that like knows what they're doing. But this time, I'm just gonna dye it because I'm doing like red. So it should go over this fine, I think. We'll see. <laughs> I have like an hour and a half, two hours ish to do this. And I feel like it's gonna take longer since I'm talking and since I don't know what the f I'm doing. It already looks bad. You know what? I don't want to put them into this roller. We're putting it into this. I cannot deal with my bangs anymore. Like, I'm sorry if I look gross, which I do. But at least then at the end, when I look somewhat decent, then it'll be like, ooh, a transformation. Yeah, like I mentioned, I am a K-pop fan. I've been a fan since I was very, very little. But then I like actually started like standing back in 2015. The first group I stand was BTS. And then I think got seven. And I started getting into other groups. I don't want to talk too much about it in this video. So, should we talk about some of my favorite things? This video is just gonna be like literally all over the place. My brother's gonna kill me. He's gonna be like, what the frick am I editing right now? A mess. Let's talk about a few of my favorite things. Let's start with shows. My all time favorite show that I try and get everybody to watch because it's just that good is New Girl. It's on Netflix. I'm praying that it'll be on Netflix until the end of time. So please go watch it. It's literally so good. I'm always re watching it. I can quote it like no other. Like randomly, I'll be like, oh my god, that's like in New Girl season three, episode 15, where Jess does like this. But I really, really like that show. It's really like a, it's like a happy thing for me. If I'm sad, I can just go watch the show and it's a nice pick me up. If I'm happy, I watch the show. If I'm just kind of bored, I watch the show. Like it's like, it's just my show. This looks like trash so far and I'm like not sure what to do about it. Should I zoom even further in? Who knows? Like literally who knows? Probably not, but I just don't want you guys to see the mess behind me. <laughs> but if you guys are wondering, I'm using the Morphe X James Charles palette. I know he's canceled, which shit, everything's falling. He's canceled, which like he is but it's good makeup and I'm not gonna waste it. I really, I wanna have like just a variety of content on this channel. I obviously wanna do makeup videos, do vlogs, K-pop related videos sometimes. I don't want that to be like a major thing. Like I just don't, I don't see myself doing like a lot of K-pop related content. Obviously that's like a huge part of my life, but I don't see myself doing like reactions and stuff on here. like. If anything, I'll do that on my second channel, which a great segue to my second channel. My second channel is called Anissa's Corner. I made that like last year, I think. And it was just a place for me to put my K-pop related videos that I didn't want to put on this channel because I've had plans for this channel for so long and I knew that I didn't want it to be on the same channel because on those videos, I don't really show my face and I don't even really use my voice. It's like robot voice and like iMovie like background clips. So like, I just don't want it to be on the same channel. It's not the same thing to me. But if you guys do want to check out like my other content, it's not just K-pop. I do Degrassi related stuff on there and I have plans for other stuff. I just need to get it up and going. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you guys want to check that out, I'll link that down below. But yeah, I definitely don't want to like be the person that starts making like, okay, I have a beauty channel and I have a vlog channel and I have a channel to talk about like books and I have a channel to talk about like movies. Like I don't need that many. I think I'm just going to stick with my two. <laughs> And that's all I need. If I want to start doing reactions, then I'll do it on my other channel. But as for here, like I said, makeup. I I really love reading. Like, I really love reading. And so I own a lot of books and I like to talk about books. So I will be making also book-related content. I don't know if you guys know this. There's a genre of YouTube called BookTube where you just talk about books and you do like reading vlogs and book hauls and things like that. And I definitely want to do that as well because i i love reading i want to become a writer so that's definitely a big part of my life is reading and writing and everything like that this is just this is just for my life everything that's important to me everything that i want to document and archive to look back on later on in life will be here and it's just whatever content makes me happy i don't want to ever force myself to make things that i don't want to i really don't i'm not sure what's happening with the eyes and I feel like in a way I'm done. I think I might just add like some jewels and call it a day, honestly. But like I have to add the jewels after I'm done with like my face makeup. But I think I might add some sparkle, some jewels, and we'll be good. I don't know if I want to do this lighter, like blue sparkly shade or the darker one. Because they're very different. <laughs> very different vibes. What if I like mix them together? Okay, I don't hate that. I think I'll put down the darker blue as a base. Oh yeah, that's like really pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. So yeah, I'm just gonna be doing just a lot of different things on here and I honestly, I can already feel that I'm gonna need to find a good balance on what to share and what not to share because I'm very open 
I just love to tell everyone everything. <laughs> Sorry, I was checking. But yeah, I'm a very open person. I love to tell everyone everything. So I'm gonna need to be cautious of that. Because there's some weird people on the internet. Okay, bruv, there's some weird people out there. But also, I actually think I'm just gonna leave it at this dark shimmer because I actually really like the way it looks. So let's move on to face makeup. I actually need to wet my sponge. My sponge looks gross. So let's not look at it for too long. It's a real technique sponge. I need to go wet it, so I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I'm back and my beauty blender is now wet. Let's get started with the face makeup. First, I go in with some moisturizer. I used to use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost, but I ran out, so I'm back to my Pons Dry Skin Cream. I never liked the way my face makeup comes out, and I always thought that it was a foundation, but I think I realized it's your base, so if my skin's not good, my foundation won't look good, and my foundation never looks good, even though I do my skincare routine every single night, and I really try. I really do. I used to never do any type of skincare. This past year, I made kind of like a resolution that I really wanted to do my skincare routine every single night. I didn't care how late it was. I didn't care if I was tired. I didn't care. I wanted to do it every single night and I've really stuck to that and I'm really proud of myself for that. But yeah, my skin, it's just very uneven. I really need to get into using like a toner because it's very uneven. It's very like light right here, red right here, light right here. Like it's just, it's not it. But for the most part, I don't have breakouts. Knock on wood. So I'm blessed in that way. Just kind of let this set in. Let's continue talking about favorites because I kind of completely forgot that we were doing that. Let's talk about favorite movies. I actually have multiple favorite movies, but like my all-time, all-time favorite movie is Clueless. I love Clueless so much. Like I love it so much. I own it on VHS and DVD and I just, I love it so much. If you guys have not seen Clueless, please, 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 please go watch it. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Hydra Touch. Sorry that I'm saying like some of the products that I use and not like the other ones. I would say that I'm gonna put it in like the description, but like, let's be real. I'm not gonna put it in the description. No one cares that much. And if you really do, then maybe I'll end up putting it in the description, who knows. But yeah, my all time favorite movie is Clueless. I think it's, it's just perfect. It's a masterpiece. Paul Rudd is in it. If you guys like Paul Rudd, I know he is like Ant-Man now. Maybe that'll get you going with it. Um, that's another thing. I'm really into Marvel movies. Should we talk about Endgame or Infinity War? Because unpopular opinion, I prefer Infinity War. Endgame was a masterpiece. Endgame was literally a masterpiece. But I think Infinity War was an even bigger masterpiece. To have a movie where finally the villain wins, beautiful. I cried. I literally, I cried. I cried so much. And I know that's not like, oh my god, you cried. How could you? Because like everyone cried. Like, wow. I even cried during Endgame. I cried so much during Endgame. It's just, it's so good. The Marvel movies, I love it. And I've watched all of them in order. And I'm not like the biggest fan. Like, I don't know every single thing about it. But I did grow up watching them. And I do really love them. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation in 120 Classic Ivory. This is not the correct shade. I bought the wrong shade. This is too orange for me. But it kind of like oxidizes sometimes. Y'all see that? But yeah, so my favorite movie is Clueless. But if we're going through my favorite movie like list, I can't do this in order anymore. So it's like Clueless and then these are all just like in random order. Selena. I really love the Selena movie. My aunt was actually in the Selena movie. She's like an extra in the fashion show scene. Alec, if you can find that clip. But yeah, I just really love the same movie. I love Selena's music. I am Mexican-American. I do not speak Spanish. I really wish that I did, but I never learned it growing up, even though my parents speak Spanish and my grandma, my uncles, my aunt, like everyone speaks Spanish, except for me and my siblings. But I do plan on learning it one day. This is gonna sound really weird and you guys are gonna be like, what the frick? The Lego Batman movie? The Lego Batman movie is so funny to me. Like, it's so funny. It's just such a good movie. Like, yes, you can be like, oh, it's a kiddie movie and like, it, like dead ass like it is. <laughs> like, it's a kid's movie. But it's so funny. The jokes are so funny. I love that movie to death. I also really like Spider-Man Homecoming. Tom Holland is my favorite Spider-Man. Not to be like a basic white girl, but Tom Holland is my favorite Spider-Man. He's also the best Spider-Man. Tobey Maguire is iconic and will forever be iconic. Andrew Garfield, we don't talk about that. Um, But I think Tom Holland fits the role the best. Other favorite movies? I think that is it, honestly. The Mask was like a childhood favorite movie, but I wouldn't count as like an all-time favorite movie. I do own it on VHS like because it used to be a childhood favorite, but like, I wouldn't count it as all-time favorite. But should we talk about my family for a little bit? I have two brothers. My oldest brother, Alec, 
is the one editing this video. He is four years older than me. No, Alec is three years older than me. Wow, I really just blanked on my own like life for a second there. Alec is three years older than me, so he is 19. And then I have my younger brother, Alan, and he is 12. So he's four years younger than me. And yeah, we are all A's. Like our names all start with A's, Ani's Alec Alan. <laughs> and yes, they did do that on purpose because on my dad's side of the family, all of his siblings are A's. Arturo, Abel, Anavine, Alex. My parents, my mom, um, she, I don't know how much they want me like saying about them. So I'll just say she works for the county. She's a probation officer. My dad works at a gym. He's a, Oh, I honestly do. I, I always blank on like what he does. I know he like fixes things. He's like like a maintenance manager or something. I really don't know. Sorry, dad. Love you the most. Um, but I like, honest to God, don't know what he does. But so yeah, that's them. They only have three kids. I am one of those and that's our little life um obviously y'all should go follow me on instagram <laughs> my instagram is just anise dot gz i actually think anise has two s's in it i think anise with one s was taken like the username was taken and go follow my tiktok i make really crappy tiktoks <laughs> that's the exact same um username as my instagram i make really really bad tiktoks like they're really bad like i know they're bad like it's not even me being like oh my god they're so bad and like you know like they're bad like no like don't ask they're bad like i know they're bad and they're really cringy but it's just something fun that i like to do honestly like i do it late at night <laughs> like for the most part i do it late at night and when i have nothing else to do but I really think the TikTok is like, I think it's actually like really funny. Like there's some really funny content on there. Now that I look flat as can be, I'm one dimensional. I'm one dimensional, I'm two dimensional. I'm stupid apparently, <laughs> I'm stupid as I am. I'm gonna take this elf, it has a piece of tape, ignore that. I'm gonna take this elf bronzing thing. It's the cool one, not the warm one. Take this, I just swirl them all together and then and then put it on my feet. My bronzing slash contour, I know that they're different things. Do I know the difference though? No. That's like my weakest part of like my makeup, honestly. Cause like whenever I blend it out, it just ends up looking like really patchy down here. It just looks weird. Like it already, you can already see how like patch it looks. And like I haven't even blended it yet. Like these lines are uneven. Also the way I contour my nose, y'all are gonna barf. I'm gonna get dragged. Cause like this is not how you should be doing it. This is really not how you should be doing it. Let me see if I have like a brush that I can do it with. I don't know that many brushes surprisingly. And like it's kind of an issue. I think this is a bronzing brush. <coughs> Bless me. I think this is a bronzing brush, but I really couldn't tell you. We have to leave here at 5.30 and it's like about to be 4. But it's fine, I'm like kind of almost done. I really want to do one of those TikToks where it's like meet the friend squad. But like not all of my friends, like they're all friends with each other, but like it's not like the same squad. Does that make sense? Like I have a bunch of like tiny little different squads. <laughs> But I really want to do one of those. I don't want to like start mentioning my friends and then like forget some. But like eventually you're gonna see them in like all my vlogs. Like deadass, like I'm I love my friends so much and they're such a big part of my life. Especially since I'm homeschooled. I just really appreciate them. Okay, you see, like it's not good. Like it looks patchy now. I also hate my nose. Like if we're talking insecurities, I hate my nose. So if y'all wanna hate on me and you wanna find my biggest insecurity, it's my nose. Maybe my lips too. Yeah, I definitely wish my lips were like bigger. But what are you gonna do, you know? <laughs> we're gonna do eyebrows now and I hate doing my eyebrows cause I hate my eyebrows. I need to pluck them. But do we have time for that right now? Absolutely not. Can I see what I'm doing in this mirror? Absolutely not. Should I use the small mirror that I literally have right here? Absolutely. Oh, it doesn't look like that bad. My eyeshadow, I'm quaking. This is like, garbage. This is for garbage. Halloween. It's kind of coming up. I know people are like already like thinking about what they want to be and all. I think I'm going to be a cheerleader. And if that doesn't work out, then I really don't freaking know. I always wanted to be a cheerleader when I was little. And when I actually like went to school. Because there were cheerleaders in like the pep squad and stuff. But sadly, I was never in that. Should we talk about that? Should we talk about school for a bit? Even though school... <laughs> school's gross but let's talk about it for a bit so i started school in kindergarten i didn't go to preschool or anything i started school in kindergarten and i went to a private catholic school here in san antonio and then i attended there until third grade and in third grade they were like hello we're broke and we're closing the school down and i was like what so then they just closed the school down because they were broke and everyone just kind of dispersed my oldest brother and I went to that school. Um, my youngest brother, Alan, 
never made it to that school before they closed down. That's that. So I did go to school for a bit. And then after that, I just started being homeschooled and I'm still homeschooled now. And that's my schooling life. Do I still talk to the people that I went to school with? Not really, but I have them on like social media and stuff. So if you guys are watching this, this is what I'm like now. I think my blush is over there and I don't want to get up and get it. Oh, it is over there. Gosh dang it. I got my blush. It's like an essence ombre. The thing completely came off, but it's in number 10 heat wave it's like a nice pink orange ombre and i just kind of get in the middle or i tilt to one side whatever vibes i'm feeling right now i'm feeling like in the middle i don't really talk to them anymore but none of us are like like it's not like we're not cool we just don't speak and like most people don't speak to the people that they went to elementary school with to begin with um but i feel like my school was different in a way just because we were a private school so we were very close everyone in the school like knew each other because every class was really small like for pretty much the whole time I was there, like, we had maybe, like, 13 people max in a class. It was never, like, a, oh my god, who's that person? I've, like, never heard of them. Like, everyone knew everyone. Like, deadass, everyone knew everyone. <sighs> okay, next I usually do my under eye area. I forgot I'm putting, like, gems on. I hope they don't fall off during dance. That happened last time I, like, put gems on my face for dance. They just kind of yeeted out of there. Let's do my under eye. We're gonna take this dark blue mixed with this like lighter blue. Oh my god, the other day I went to the Japanese tea gardens. It was really, really pretty. I literally just stabbed myself in the eye. But yeah, it's so pretty there. Um, It was really, really hot though, so... Oh my god, I cannot wear blue lipstick with this. Like, I have to wear a nude lipstick. This is the blue lipstick I would wear. I feel like that'd be, like, too much. Because this formula is kind of, like, weird. Like, I love the NYX liquid suede lipstick. The red one. I think it was called, like, Kitten Heels. I really love that one. I lost it. But the other ones that I have from this collection, like, the formula is just really weird. Especially this one. Like, it's really runny. So, I usually stick to my ColourPop liquid lipsticks. Okay, next I do highlight yes i should definitely do highlight before i do gems on my face i always put like way too much highlight on but like also is there such a thing as way too much highlight i do not think so i think it's just that i put it in the wrong places on my face <laughs> like it, it comes like all the way over here and then i'm like why is over here so shiny I like to highlight my nose obvi oh, i'm trying to think of like big things that have happened in my life to like catch you guys up on i went to a bts concert i know i'm very very lucky and i'm very grateful that i was in a position to be able to go to a bts concert i got the tickets as a birthday present last year for my 15th birthday so i went to their september 16th show in fort worth for the love yourself tour i honestly that was the happiest day of my life like gen like genuinely that was the happiest day of my life and i'm not sure what to do now that it's been over a year since i've seen them because i honestly refuse to believe that because i miss them so much and they said they would come back and they have not okay it's time for the gems and like <laughs> i bought like a pack of like random like rhinestones and stuff on amazon but they're like so tiny like they're so tiny i did not think that they would be this small i think i'm gonna go with these blue ones though there's also like, a pack of like little like leaves leaf type ones but i'm gonna go with the blue wow the blend on this is like so horrendous it came with like these little like tweezer things I think this pack was like $11 on Amazon. And honestly, when I was buying it, I didn't think I had the money to buy it. And apparently I did because it went through the card. So, oh, that's another thing. I'm trying to find a job right now. <laughs> I applied to Claire's Target Hot Topic and Justice. The Justice one, I'm not sure why I applied there because it's like 45 minutes away from my house. Target rejected me. They were like, thanks for applying, but no thanks. Like, deadass, they emailed me and they were like, no. I haven't heard back from Claire's or Hot Topic. But I'm gonna take an educated guess and say that it's a no. Because I have no prior experience. Does this look okay? Who knows? Like, literally, who knows? Are these even? Are these even? I literally couldn't tell you. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. It looks bad. It looks bad. That one got glue like all over my face. So I hope that dries clear. Why did I think this was like a good idea? Like I did this once and I think that I'm like, that hey. for me for you. I can't tell if it's a vibe or like I hate it. <laughs> Cause it's one or the other. And I'm really feeling like it's on the I hate it side right now. I'm gonna put some of the smaller ones like by my eyebrows. But um, right now this really ain't it, sweetie. Like I, this looks insane. I look insane. I feel like I just need to be confident to pull this off. So I look good. I look like a bad bee. Everything is great. I just dropped it. Oh no, never mind, it's still on there. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I need to take the ones on my eyebrows off. That's what's that's what's throwing me off. I called you for the video mainly, and also because I was freaking out. <laughs> so I'm not sure what I'm gonna go do, but I'm gonna go do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. We're back. Um, we're just gonna leave it at this. I think I'll pop one on my inner corner and go with that because it's not looking good. Should we even do some on the inner corner? You know what? I think we should just leave it at this. Okay, no, I lied. I need to do inner corner because like it looks stupid without it. I also like need to pee, but like I'm running out of time and like I need to like finish this. I've never been such a disgrace to myself than in this moment. And I also still don't know if I'm doing blue lipstick or not. Okay, I'm done with the jewels part which was um a mistake to say the absolute least i think for the most part i'm like done like dead ass i'm like done done i just need my lipstick oh i need mascara oh my mascaras are like running out so that's gonna be like a struggle and i don't really like curling my lashes because my like my lash curl is like very dirty and i don't want to clean it right now i'm gonna be taking the maybelline the rocket volume express it's like running out like it's out i need to get the l'oreal lash sensational the like dupe for the better than sex mascara because i love the better than sex mascara but i'm not like buying that like i got it as a sample and i'm not buying it like Too Faced are clowns if they think that i'm buying that while wow, the glue is like not drying on these so you can just like see glue <laughs> Deadass, I've never done like such a bad makeup look. It's insane. Maybe, maybe I've done worse, but like I highly doubt it because this doesn't look good. I need to add more shimmer to my lids, even though I just did mascara, which means like I have, I'm running the risk of getting that on my lids, but we're gonna do it anyways. That's definitely what we needed is more shimmer. I'm going to, oh, actually I should spray some setting spray. <laughs> I'm a clown. And if you're wondering why I don't put makeup it's on my forehead, it's because I have bangs. So like, what's the point? I'm using the Maybelline Master Fix. I'm kind of out of it. And I really wanted the Morphe one, but I'm broke. So I will be back once I put lipstick on and everything, but I want to just change first. And also I'm going to go pee, so I'll be back. This is like deadass how I do my bangs every morning. Okay, I'm back. I think I'm going to go with a nude lipstick. The thing is, I don't know what type of nude lipstick I want to do. So I have like two actual like lipstick lipsticks. This one is a LA Colors one. And it's like really freaking messed up, but it's like a darker nude. I'm not sure what shade it is. Taupe Envy. Then I have a NYX Butter Lipstick in the shade Tan Lines. And this one's kind of like a lighter nude. Then as for liquid lipsticks, we have the NYX Lingerie in Push Up. This one's like a, it's like an honest to God, like nude nude right there i don't know if y'all can see this lighting is like not the best yeah. then i have the ColourPop liquid lipstick in strip this is a satin lip ultra satin lip that's like a really good nude that's like a really like nude nude on me and then i have this milani amour shine liquid lip color in addiction number 12 addiction and it's like this really pretty it's kind of like a gloss honestly but like it is also like a liquid lipstick there we go i think that's the vibe so the dance that we're learning in dance currently is like a really cutesy dance um so earlier i was like oh I'll do pigtails but like now with this makeup look i feel like that is not the vibe i'm just gonna wear my hair down like this i'll take this out i'll put my star earrings in oh my star earrings are over there i think we're gonna go with this this for the vibe or should we do a base of this and this so that when this fades this will be there let's do that let me get my earrings okay i have like some earrings that i like always wear i always wear these Oh, great. My camera's, like, dying. I always wear these, and I always wear my star. I'm gonna do my lipstick, and then I'll come back. <laughs> so, just as a quick outro, because my camera is literally dying, I used the Ultra Satin Lip from ColourPop in Strip, and then the Too Faced Melted Chocolate Liquid Metallic Lipstick in Frozen Hot Chocolate. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was a mess. I know it was kind of all over the place, especially this being the first video. Me just kind of info dumping on you. Sorry about that. But I'm so used to filming videos, so I'm not really used to being like, oh, here's this about my life. And like, here's this. Like, I'm so used to just being like, okay, you already know this. Let's talk about this. That's kind of what just my channel is going to turn into. It's just going to be like, hey, by the way, this is a thing. But so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to do all that generic youtube stuff like comment subscribe or don't doesn't really matter but i hope you guys watch my next video as well <laughs> um no okay alec take that out that was gross <laughs> yeah thank you guys for watching and i will talk to you guys later bye yeah.